Hey guys, it's so chilly today. It's like cold outside. I think it's gonna rain or something, but it's like May, second week of May. I think it's the 13th or 14th. I don't know what day it is anymore. And it just gets cold and hot again, so who knows? Hey, if you like makeup and you like, I don't know, random ADD people who just do whatever the heck they want on their channel because my channel doesn't make sense, then you should totally like and subscribe because there will be more <laughs> coming your way. I need to think of like an introduction and a theme song and like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. But I just did um, a what's in my makeup bag and a little tutorial and this is the final look. So before I wash it off, I'm gonna go ahead and probably show you what's in my makeup bag again. And I'm gonna show you what's in my purse and I'm gonna show you what's in my makeup trunk. So we're just gonna combine it in the, in the next 30 minutes, 27 minutes that we have. So, since I'm using my makeup bag to hold up my phone right now, and as you can see, this is my other phone, which is cracked to high heaven, it, it does not work. So I'm using one phone to be my, like, extra storage space phone for when I run out of storage space on the other one, but neither one of them have a working number, and neither one of them work unless there's Wi-Fi and there's internet, you know, so. This is my, hold on. You're gonna hear some ducks and chickens today because I'm right beside my ducks and chickens. Quack, quack, quack. <laughs> like right here next to them. This is my makeup trunk. I was really big into zebra stripes in 2013 and that's where I got this. And then I was really big into leopard stuff and cheetah stuff, so I got these leggings. So, you know, it just doesn't matter. Just do whatever you want. So what's in here? We're gonna start. All right. I wish I could show you from above. Maybe I'll show you from above. Bear with me, bear with me. All right, make a trunk. You open this up and then you open it up again. So you can see what's in there from here. Hi! <laughs> and that's like storage for all the stuff I haven't used yet. And some of it is like from when I was 10 or younger and it's sentimental and I don't want to throw it away. For example, this, which was from CVS. I don't use it, it's gross. I'm not gonna put that on my face, but it lights up. Oh my God, it's not, if it stops lighting up, then I can't use it anymore. It lights up, I don't even know if you can see it. It lights up in the dark, but yeah, after all these years, it lights up, <laughs> still works. And then these, which I don't even know what the heck I'm gonna do with all these. Like, most people would just throw them away, right? <laughs> I have a whole set of, of Skittles lip smackers. Why? I don't even like Skittles. I hate Skittles. I'm just hoarding at this point. And this is from when I worked at Avon. I barely used it. It's an Avon lip balm. And then I have a Dr. Pepper because I, I'm a Dr. Pepper fan. I love Dr. Pepper. So I have this and it's a lip balm, but it makes my lips break out. Like I can't use anything except for Chapstick brand because I'm allergic really sensitive skin. I have this, which I love. It's called Very Cherry, and I believe this is, okay, it says Color Sensational, but what brand? Maybelline. Okay, it's Maybelline. Duh. And I love this lipstick. Great. Great quality lipstick, but honestly, I need to put it back in my makeup bag and use it up. Use it up. So I'm gonna put that in my makeup bag. And that's it for lipsticks, which is the second one down. And then I have... This was on clearance at Walmart, so that's how I roll. I get stuff on clearance. And this is a L'Oreal palette. Pa L'Oreal, Paris. Oh my God, I can't talk. And it is a luminescent white. So you would like put it on top and it would like make it holographic looking. And it's super like sparkly. I don't even know if you can see how. Can you see this? Can you see how sparkly that is? Ooh. Finally, I can do swatches like everybody cool, all the cool people. I can do swatches like the cool people because cool people do swatches. And this one is the same, but it's a different color. And it's L'Oreal Paris. It's called Gleaming Plum because I am obsessed with purple lipsticks. And it looks kind of holographic too. But see, there's like a piece of it there. So it's like really purpley. So you can see the other one compared to this one. Very pretty. I love the shape of this because it reminds me of 
a Chanel lipstick that I used to have. I only had one and I want one more Chanel because they're like $56. But I love the shape of it compared to my my Coco Shine Chanel lipstick, which I very much miss. I think it might be in the bottom of this because I refuse to throw it away ever because I'm a hoarder. <laughs> this is another one. I got a third one, okay? And it was a little bit more expensive, but 420. Happy 420, y'all. I paid 420 for this. Mulberry Plump, and it is a pinkish. Okay, and it is a little bit more shiny compared to the other ones. So this is the white one, then the purple, and then this pink. It's a little more shiny. So I'm not gonna use those yet. They are in storage until I use up my others. Gotta use up the, the oldest first. FIFO, sheets, that's sheets word for it, is first in, first out. But I grew up doing that because you just don't waste. These are two mascaras that I have not used yet. And they are very cute. One's purple, one's pink, love it. Love it because it's colorful and I love colorful stuff. So the pink one is called Black Noir. It's number two of the Revlon, uh, Revlon Lash Potion. And then the other one is blackened brown, which is blue, so I'm guessing it's brown. And I do not like brown, but whatever. I have these, which I probably should use. As you can see, I like colorful stuff. I don't even know where those came from. Modessa. So let's say Dollar General. Here is a Avon sample of a tiny lipstick that I also need to use up. <laughs> this is old and should probably be thrown away because I don't use these, they don't work for me. They just don't work and these don't work for me either. So I hate brown. I think I used this for my lashes at one point. Probably when I shaved them like an idiot. Like, who shaves their eye? I mean, who shaves their eyebrows? Ugh. Okay, so last lipstick of the top. I have more on the bottom, but I have one on the top. This is a mushroom lipstick. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. It's a princessa mushroom. And I have to be very careful when I open it because I don't... <laughs> I can't even right now. I've never used this, and I probably never will. But, um, yeah. I need to get more of these. Like, when I was a adult toy reviewer i love stuff like this like, look at that so funny <laughs> i would totally do that again i even opened my own adult toy store and i still sell stuff occasionally it's called seraphina's toy box because i know a lot about these products and so it's funny that i have a adult lipstick in here it's like a bachelorette party thing so i'm just gonna put that with my hoard and then i have this which is old as dirt as well and uh are those moldy throwing stuff away all right this is a cover girl true naked dazed palette which is my second rainbow palette ever and i will use it when i'm done with the other palette that i have i am so excited because like the orange is so shimmery and the yellow is shimmery and the green it's like i'm a green bit of shimmery and there's a blue and a shimmery and a purple and a black oh shimmer 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 i like sparkles and shimmers okay so Okay, so we know what those are. Those are nail files. This is really, like, was really expensive, and I just don't, like, it's really dark. I think I got it for, my mom got it for me for beauty pageants, so I'd feel like a princess, and I just, I wasn't really into, I mean, after I lost the Fair Queen, uh, I just kind of gave up, like, on every day. I think that really shot my self-esteem down when I lost the Fair Queen pageant, because I was really poor, so I got my dress at Goodwill. It was an old wedding dress, and these two rich girls that had all the money for I'm over here yeah okay the the rich girls that had uh, money for like one's mom was a makeup artist right and a hair and a, it was a hairdresser and a makeup artist so of course she would win fair queen right and I was the one that like had all the chickens and thought that sounded really stupid she had cows I had chickens I was poor not a lot of money. <clears throat> this is like a Goodwill fund and these leggings were free. You know, it's like I just get what I can and I scrimp on the rest. It's like these rich people that have all these opportunities and all these things, they get more opportunities because they have the money. And I just didn't think it was fair because I really, I don't know, after that opportunity, I just kind of gave up on life. So 
it really just changed me. But moving on, that's what that was for. So it's sentimental, but at the same time, it makes me sad. So this is a uh, Fair, AKA Revlon Photo Ready Concealer. Haven't used it yet. I'll let you know what I do. And then I have a Neutrogena Gel Eyeliner. Very excited about this. This is what I use now. I use like the liquid eyeliners. Okay, so I have a few of these in the collection, which I love. Zodiac stuff. I know, I know. I'm totally cliche. I do not care what you think. I have Scorpio, I have Sagittarius, and I have Pisces, which is mine. So my man is a Sagittarius, and I am a Pisces, which is why I have the, can you see it? Pisces Sagittarius tattoo on my arm. And then we have matching lip glasses. So I have like the red and the Pisces one. So Pisces is a pink sparkle and Sagittarius is a red sparkle. And I hate Scorpios. Like it's funny because Scorpio is probably the one like sign that's best for Pisces besides Cancer. And yet Scorpios, every Scorpio I've ever met has pissed me off. And I don't like Cancers either. Like it's funny, I hate them both. And anyway, I just like this color. It's really pretty purple. It looks even better in the video than it does in my hand. But these are my fake eyelashes that I think I'm going to throw away because I never use them and they look gross. Hey, I'm getting rid of stuff. Yay me. Which I never do because I've um, been a hoarder. When you have major loss when you're young, it just kind of sets you onto this pattern of like holding on to everything because things won't leave you. Oh my gosh. I hate when you have a sticker on something and you can't get it off. So it's like this basically. And there's just stuff. Oh, it's going to drive me nuts. I'll deal with it later. But this is a hard candy, which a brand I love, by the way, is hard candy. Awesome. It's eyeshadow duo. I have never really used liquid eyeshadow before. We'll see how that goes. Uh, random makeup brushes. Something else I've been hoarding for probably five to six years and never opened never opened it. It's a Union Jack palette by Glam Eyes or Rimmel London. L Rimmel London Glam Eyes. Okay, yeah, whatever. And I probably had it since like 2014. I don't know. I love Union Jack stuff so much. So I'm just, you know, yeah. Okay, Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse. This was a 2012, 2013 thing that my ex fiance at that time got for me or I got, I don't know. It had cotton swabs in it. Here's another one of those. Um, I have two more. I actually have three of them then. So I just knew that I would like these, so I got three. All right. Elf Cosmetics. The, the other one that I got, I had just opened it and it was dry. So I threw it away. It's awful. Could not get it to work. So let's hope that this one works. Elf Cosmetics. Hit and miss. It's a hit or miss. This is hard candy once again, and it's a mascara. And I'm really excited about opening that. <clears throat> uh, EOS. These are pretty good. Um, my lips aren't allergic to them as much as other things. Like, I can use chapstick and I think I can always use this, but I just haven't used it. I used it a couple times and it just, it's weird. It feels like it, I'm holding an egg and I don't know. It's just, it's weird. Oh, I used the heck out of this. This was a sample from Ipsy and it's a Winky Lux powder. And I used it up and I still kept the container because I'm a freak. And I have one more hard candy lip gloss. I think I had a couple before and I had to throw them away because they made my lips burn. They got old, I guess. And so this one's never been opened. So we'll open it up and see how it goes and I'll use the heck out of it. It is Life Preserver. Hard candy Life Preserver, okay. So two more items, three more items. This is a set, very cute very expensive very cute it came in an estee lauder yeah their estee lauder um makeup kit and i have the red bag and it was from peebles before people shut down or turned into what's it called gordon's what a stupid name gordon's um but yeah these are estee lauder palettes and still has the plastic never been used never been opened very pretty i don't know if you can see that stay in my yard but yeah, those are like really neutrals. It's not my colors. Eventually I'll use it, but not yet. So there's the other one. And you can see that's just really super cute. And then I have one that, she's an enemy now, but at the time she was my friend, got this for me when I was probably 15, 16. And 
it just reeks like the black powder just comes out of it so when I was a goth girl I was into like stuff like this and it was a hot topic <laughs> thing that you got so it's Emily the strange and I just never use it because it's black like I don't like browns and I just don't like black eye I shadows I don't know but anyway I'll put this stuff back really quick as quick as I can and then we're gonna go do the makeup bag so I'll be right back I'll see you guys in the next video oh wow I didn't even stop what the hell is wrong with this thing bye guys by the way subscribe